Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name's Jade, and this is How to Hack on iOS. And today, we're going to be having a look at... Piano motifs! Oh my god, it's finally gone AUV3, and it's incredible! That is right. Still song timber at the moment. We're nearing up the end of it. And today, we're going to play another song timber song from an artist by the name of Jamie Mallander. And this is his song timber song, Never Give Up. Sometimes you must feel You'll never make it through the day they say There's no excuse In this day and age What are they teaching them at home It's so unfair No one is born With hatred in their hearts Rise above Show them you don't care Never give up, never give in Never back down and let them win Always be proud of who you are Live your best life, follow your dream Don't let them take your self-esteem Shining star It's not you that needs to change You are perfect as you are The bullies need to learn Where the clothes you want to wear 
Never Give Up, Jamie Mallander. His song, Timber Song. Hello. Welcome to the show. What an incredible song. So there's a link pinned up the top. Go and uh, click on it. Do the clicky bits, as Keonra says, and uh, click on Jamie's uh, YouTube channel. Go and sub to him because he did a whole bunch of videos during Song Timber as well, making that song. Great song. And the message is just wonderful. Uh, the story behind it's amazing too. So he wrote it for his daughter, who's in, an incredibly amazing child woman. Whatever you want to call her. Um, she's, she's superhuman. And that's why he wrote that song for her. And uh, um, cool too, just a side note, on yesterday's show, oh yeah, I'm Jade, welcome to How to Up on iOS. Uh, on yesterday's show, we did a show looking at uh, using AI to make the images for this. And this was one of the images that uh, Jamie used that uh, Mid Journey made for the AI. So that's cool. It's so great that we've all been able to have a hand in each other's stuff and feel each other around and do, do all that weird stuff. Um, and, you know, and I followed Jamie's uh, progress on the song during the month and it was just really great to watch. And I agree with Audible Video who wrote, it's got a really live band feel to it, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, and he sent it, <laughs> Jamie sent it to me to have a listen to. And typical me, I sent it back mastered. <laughs> Typ <laughs> typical. Um, what a great song. So the link's up there as well, too, to go buy it as well. It's on uh, Bandcamp at the moment. So you can get it on Bandcamp before it hits all the streaming services for free and all that jazz. I also want to welcome our Wart Warriors. If you're a Wart Warrior, it costs a dollar a month and you get cool custom emojis in the emoji section. There's a new one in there today. Audible Video's got his own emoji finally. Um, and next week, guys, it's happening. The, the trivia show is happening next week. Not this Sunday, not this Saturday. The Saturday after, it, it, you'll, you'll be notified. Your Music Trivia Night is happening where we take a look at your music and ask questions about it. Do you know other musicians in the community? Do you do you know their quirks? Do you know their their things? Do you do you know their music? It'll be a wicked trivia night that is happening too, and uh, also what is kicking off at the beginning of in a few days' time, it will be the official kickoff. Now that Song Timber is on its way out, folks, it is Rocktober, where in a month I encourage you to make a music video for your music. It doesn't have to be the music you made in Songtember. It doesn't have to be the music you're making now. It can be music from two years ago. I don't really care. Let's all make a music video together over a month and I'll be leading by example, by Brad example. And I can tell you what, the costume for my video clip that I'm shooting has fully arrived now. I got my official... Tom Baker Doctor Who scarf yesterday. Look at this thing. It's 12 foot long. And my Tom Baker hat. So I'll be dressing up as Doctor Who in my video clip. And in that video clip, I'll be wearing my full Darth Vader costume. And Darth Vader will be fighting against Tom Baker Doctor Who. It will be <laughs> the most epic video clip you guys are ever going to see. Now I've got a lot to live up to. It's not an Indiana Jones hat. All right, let's say hello to you all. And we'll jump into oh, today's app. Because it's going to be a shortish show today. We're trying to shorten it by about 10 minutes because we've got a premiere coming up at uh, 10 minutes to the hour uh, from the Chandlers. And then we're leading into uh, Thomas Christ, You Rock, where he plays your music. Yeah, your music live. Uh, that's another show. Hello, Laurie's Mishmosh. Hello, Jim Shannon on Sounds, Jamie Mallander. <laughs> there you go. Um, get on with it, Jade. Uh, Joe Glenn, I think Joe used an image from yesterday's show as well. So thank, thank God that show was worth something. Audible Video, Patrick Chandler from Chandler Brothers, who we're going to be sending everybody over. We'll dump you over there. Um, who else is here? Tom Carraher is here as well. I saw Cy, effing good to see you. Thomas Christ. I saw Leela in there as well. Who else do I see as I scroll through 
chat quickly get it together so nino beats there you are what's going on nino uh is jamie uh i'm sure i'm missing people today i'm trying to i'm trying to write just calm down jay calm down relax there's leela um is michael thompson hello to you i hope you're over your covid Si. i hope you're feeling better and better each day uh, I think I've got most people, did I? If I haven't, just slept. Oh, uh, Stu Cash is here. I don't know if Andy's here. Normally when Stu's here. Stu and Andy have a premiere coming up as well on Friday. It's going to be sick, man. It's going to be really cool. The Indigo Sunsets are back and they've recorded a, a uh, Song Temper song. I'm really excited about that. So I'll, I'll guess we'll see you there. It's happening. It's happening. Also, uh, we'll cover this now. So tomorrow on the show is a special event. We're doing, uh, we're, this happens, every, there's me and my Doctor Who hat. There you go. Looking like a dickhead. Um, uh, tomorrow is a special We All Rise Together show. It is a panel discussion on feedback. Uh, so we'll have Metalhead Hippie, Ron Ward, Thomas Christ and Pete Johns all as uh, guests because they play your music every week. So I want to talk about feedback with them and how they approach feedback, what they think feedback is, when they should give feedback, why they should give feedback, how you give feedback. We'll be doing all of those tomorrow. So that starts an hour later than normal than the normal time. Yeah, I know. Who's the clown in the picture? That's that's rockin' Ronnie Ward. I hope he doesn't wear a wig for it. It's kind of semi-serious. Hey, Zach Thong, what's going on? Okay, what are we doing today? Let's uh, get out of this madness. And we are, there's Jamie's track again, so go and grab that. Let's look at any price drops. Session band apps are all on sale, down to two ninety nine. We can cover that. Uh, oh, am I on page two? I'm on page three. Let's sort this out. Let's sort this out. Hey, Brad Example, welcome along. Uh, there we go. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of session band apps. They're all on sale, patterning down for $19.99, $14.99. Most of it's all session band. Let's jump into this. So I did a show on this recently. If you want to go back, there is a link in the description to go watch the full tutorial on piano motifs because I'm not going to be doing the full breakdown of it again today even because there's a whole show on that. Today it's just had an, an update with an in-app purchase for an AUV3 option. So there's two in-app purchases with this particular app. So it's $3.99 to purchase outright. And then there's two in-app purchases. There is a MIDI out connectivity in-app purchase, which is $1.99 US. And this new in-app purchase is $3.99. And it's it's very much worth it. Very, very much worth it. Um, do the compose section. Hey, Audible, just because you got a, a, a an emoji doesn't mean you can come in and throw your weight around. How about I say this? Write a fucking song. There you go. How about you make a song, Audible? I'll do that if you make a song. It's never going to happen, is it? Anyway, so <laughs> now you've been put in your place, Audible. All right, where are we? So as I said, $3.99 for the in-app purchase for the AUV3. Or you can just continue to do MIDI out, like I, I did explained in the previous show. Okay, I sure did tell you. Let's open this up. So now it can be opened here in a UM. And you can see I've got it open here as a, uh, a MIDI uh, controller. So it doesn't make any notes, this thing. All right, it is a generator. It generates music that you can send to other apps. So you can use this in uh, AUM or Cubasis uh, to send MIDI out. Doesn't work in GarageBand, unfortunately. Uh, it would be really cool if if the uh, if the dev could go ahead, Fernando could go ahead and do the same thing as what Scalar and Progressions did and make a special little GarageBand version. That would be super cool. I don't know how hard that is. Something else I should touch on quickly. So, sorry, let's hold up on this. Hi, Deep Gravity. Welcome aboard. Yesterday's app, when we looked at um, Vintage Rack, 
I said explicitly on that show that it worked for GarageBand. Um, now, Jerry Gomes purchased it, and then he sent me an email and said, hang on a minute, when I try and open it up, you can't get the full screen to work. So I contacted Igor Vasiliev yesterday. We had a bunch of back and forths. I sent him some videos. And what do you know, today, Vintage Rack got an update. So now in GarageBand, when you open it up, I should have covered this in the beginning. Now when you uh, go in here, say if I want to add it to a track, let me show you what I mean. Um, I can hit Edit. I can add an uh, effect. I can go down to Vintage Rack. And how cool it is. This is so cool. I got such an amazing developer. We talked through this and within, what, 24 hours, he updated it and got it all out and working. Vintage Rack. And now when you click on it, oh, I haven't updated it. <laughs> this is what the problem was. See this? See, there was no little arrow here to uh, make it go full screen. You can't reach all the things. Well, now in the update, it's actually fixed. So it's on the uh, store. See, I probably haven't installed it yet. Let's just show you that. Uh, where is it? Vintage Rack. Let's do a refresh. Come on. There, uh, Piano Motives. How's that? Piano Motives has had an update. Updated recently. Let's see. Uh, there he is. Vintage Rack. Look at this. Now works. Added full screen mode using the plugin with GarageBand. So, and I tested it this morning on my iPhone. It does work. Wicked stuff. So there's an update on yesterday's uh, app. Let's go back over here and do this and hit play. This is the kind of stuff you can make using uh, uh, piano motifs as an AUV3. Wicked stuff, huh? Beautiful. Um, hello, Conspiracy. Welcome along. Anyone I may have missed, let's get into this. So that was all made just with one motif. Just one motif over here. And there it is, just one motif. And you can build songs in here as well. So I'll show you a few methods of doing this. Shall we get rid of this whole thing and just start by scratch? Let's clear this out. So as this isn't an instrument, this doesn't make any sound. It just creates MIDI. If you're opening this, uh, this up in Cubasis, you have to open this up as a, as a MIDI and then uh, send it to an instrument, send it to an app. So we're going to open up the MIDI section here, much like you would use for scalar or progressions. And then you need an audio track to send it to. So here's our two sections. And in here we can do a search and find piano motifs. So previously, this was an only an interrap audio, and it still is. Or you could open it up as a standalone and send the MIDI to another app. All right, so you still could do this in a roundabout kind of sort of way, but now it's just a little bit easier to do. So we need a piano in here, and I'm just going to uh, do 
we'll do pure piano, pure upright maybe. And you don't have to just use a piano as well. This can be used for many, many things. So we want to connect these two. So I'm going to hit piano motif. So now that is sending MIDI data over here to this piano. Now in my previous video, I covered the entire way to use this, but uh, I'm going to try and keep it as short as possible. So you understand what's going on to generate a sound with this, you just hit generate and it does a little generation thing. And now because it's an AUV3, it's now connected to the playhead up the top here. And the BPM is now sunk to the BPM of your uh, door, yeah? So now if I hit play. There you go. There's our little motif that it's made. Wonderful. Uh, you can change the size of these motifs that you generate, which again, I covered in the video. Uh, if you, we've only got a short motif here, so you can see this one only goes for eight bars, but I can loop it. So I can change it to maybe four loops. So now when I go back to the start and hit play, it's just gonna loop that over four times. Now, each of these motifs are separated into three different parts, okay? Three different parts. And these are MIDI outputs. You've got MIDI output one, which is your accompaniment. Over here, you can see accompaniment. And number two is your melody. I think that I think they're the right way around. I may have them back to front. And number three, you need to go and turn on in your settings. So if you click on settings and make sure it is, oh no, it's not in here. It's up the top here up in our MIDI section. So you've got third track. So yeah, melodies channel one, accompaniments channel two. You can change these if you want to, to whatever MIDI out channel you would like to. So we need to turn on channel three. And now we've got three different channels we can send this particular piece to. And in these settings, you can decide what they are. So when you generate a piece, right? So you can just blindly generate a piece. If we hit next and hit generate, it's just going to go ahead and generate the next piece and we get whatever we're given. Incorrect audible. You think you know everything, but you don't. So in the settings, as Audible's tried to jump the gun as usual and said the, the third is a, is a root note drone. So when you go down here, the third track is either, either a chord sustain or a drone. So root note drone. So it's, it's two, you've got two options. It's either a drone where it holds on to one note if you're creating a drone or it's a chord sustain. So there's a difference. Ha ha ha, beat ya. There you go. So if you had to put or in there, that would have been better uh, audible. All right, let's uh, get out of this. Now, um, you can actually decide within, uh, so let's take a look at the interface here. So I've quickly told you about the loops. Yeah, so you can loop this how many times? It goes up to infinity if you want. So you can just choose two or how many times you want to loop the actual motif. Uh, on the front here, you've just got these quick settings that you can change up. So you can choose a, a, a note, a key here easily. So I can choose a C. And then you've got a bunch of scales that you can choose from here. So if we choose a major and then hit generate, it's gonna generate for us. You can change the timing as well in here. So you've got four, four, we'll stop that. So you gotta to remember too, when it's in a standalone, 
your playhead's down here, but when it's connected, your playhead is in the door that you have it connected to. So you can change the uh, time signature as well. You can do all that stuff. But in more settings is where you have massive control. So much so, let's quickly go over this stuff as a refresher. You can add chord progressions. So you can choose a scale in here. So we've got, as you can see, we've got a C scale. And then I can go in and just... So I can choose a scale myself. And now when I jump out of here and hit generate, it's going to take from that scale and hit play. I'll go back to the start. Back in our settings. And you can um, add silence. You can add uh, silent spots in here. It's all covered in the previous video I did. There's triads, extended chords, uh, second dominant chords, parallel scale chords, inversions, everything's in here. There's so much to mess around with. Repeat, repeat progressions. So you can really build up a, a huge piece in here. And at any time, you can just clear all. It's really easy to use this thing. Uh, you can change the minimum to maximum octaves. Yeah. Uh, you can change the amount of bars that are in the piece. And look, it goes up to quite a lot. We've got 128 bars is the maximum. Uh, you can change the accompaniment style. So you can change your accompaniment to things like chords, chord sustain, chord syncopated, chord suspended, bass, bass sustain, bass syncopated, chord and bass, arpeggio, arpeggio sequence, voice, lead up, uh, drones, serendipity. I mean, there's a huge selection of things in here. Or just set it to random. And you've got a melody constraint, so scale only, pentatonic, chord triads, uh, it's a huge list of things you can do in here. And on your third track, which is MIDI out, here's where you can uh, choose a sustain or a drone. You can turn on MIDI export. So not only can you use this, as I explained in the previous video, when it, before it had AUV3, you can export the, the MIDI to a MIDI file and then drag that in somewhere. You can export it as an audio file. You can split them up and 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 uh, save the melody as a as an audio file and the accompaniment as a MIDI file, and then drag those into something like GarageBand. There's so many ways you can save these pieces. Um, uh, melody max note durations, melody note frequencies, accompaniment rest every uh, so many bars. It's really really deep. Go back and watch the video on all of that stuff. But let's talk about how you can build a song in here and create different instruments. So, for example, um, when you when you come up with, let's just generate something now. We'll go. We'll turn this to a an F minor. Yeah, move this to a F minor, and we'll generate something. I got nothing, dude. Give me a chance. So we've generated a, we'll generate a new piece here. And now that this is generated, I'll hit play. Now with this piece in real time, I can change the octave of the accompaniment and the melody, right? So let's uh, hit play. And we do this over here. So you can hear the difference of them. So the accompaniment's lower or higher. You can, you can mix and match them how you want. Once you get a piece that sounds okay, let's just make this four. We'll make this a loop of four. 
and you can save these really, really easy. So you just go head over to save. You can name it whatever you want. We'll just call this uh, 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 S demo one, show demo one. And there's this little checkbox here that says add motif attributes to name. So when you add the, this little checkbox and save it, done, go to your load section, it adds, it tells you how many BPM it is, how the timing of it for four and what key it's in. So all of these motifs that you save, you, you get a full understanding of what everything is and you can export these. That's all covered in the last video. You can audition them at any time. So I can hit the little audition button here. And just audition them if I want to. Cool. So we've got that one there. So everything's in, uh, I think we're good to go here. I've got some, some other ones saved. So that's cool. Now I might want to build a song. So you can build everything in here as well. We've got this little arrange section here. You can, exp I'll cover the, so you can export all these too. So as you can see, export MIDI, MIDI two files, MIDI melody, MIDI accompaniment, MIDI three track, MIDI three. So you can export all these as MIDI into your files app. Simple as, really, really easy to do. Yeah. And you'll notice when I hit export here, it's only giving me options to send MIDI files because we're using this as an AUV3 MIDI. As a, so that's why there's no audio. When this is in standalone, you get the option to send audio files as well. Okay, so here's our arrange screen. And in here, you can arrange pieces. And it's so easy to do. Anything that you've saved, what's going on, Pete? You just click add selection and we'll start off, we'll go F major. That was the one we just saved, add selection. Um, so, and it gives you a warning, only motifs that are in the same timing will, can be added to this. So let's go with this, uh, F we'll go with this G, shall we? G minor. Um, we'll just choose that one. Then we'll go over here and we'll throw in this C minor, this one, maybe boom. We'll go over here and add, uh, what have we got already added? We've got, uh, six, we'll add number five. Then we'll add a C number two. Then we'll add this C number five. And then we'll go back to the F. So we've just built up an entire song in this section. Pretty neat. And if we hit play. Exactly, Jim. This is going to be great with MIDI layers. Great with so many other apps as well, too. So there's our whole song. That's ready to go. We can hit done. And you'll notice when you've got a song arranged in here, this little light appears next to it to let you know you've got a song. Everything's sweet. Now let's look at um, using MIDI, our, our MIDI outs, to control what's being sent where. So we'll go in here and add a couple more tracks and we'll, we'll add what we had at the start of the show. So we'll go in and add like a four pocket strummer, which is a guitar. Then we'll add in here an isymphonic. There we go. So just for now, we've got three instruments and we need to send this one copy of a uh, piano motifs to all of these. So these is an input. Piano Motifs is now going to Strummer. Piano Motifs is now going to iSymphonic. We need to choose a sound in iSymphonic. So I'm just going to choose, we'll choose just a classical, classic orchestra for that. Uh, we've got an acoustic chosen there. Now this is where it gets really interesting. In this section here, when you scroll down, you can see we have MIDI channels. Now, remember at the start, I said this is split into three MIDI channels, the accompaniment, the melody, and the drone or the chords. So I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to choose one and two for the piano. 
So number three won't be coming through this. Over here for the uh, orchestra, I'm going to choose just number three. So just the chords are coming through on there. And for the guitar, we'll just choose maybe number two. Oh, we'll hit none and just number two. So now we'll solo the first one so you can hear the piano. Now if I bring in the guitar, it's just playing the melody. But I can go in there and I can add And then over here, on Ice Symphonic, we're just running number three. So this is just the chords when they all come together. Schmick. And you can build up as many as you want, yeah? And this is all playing this arrangement that I made of chords. Hi, Frank. Hi, Omni. All right, but I hear you saying, how do I get this into GarageBand? How do I get the MIDI? Well, there's a few ways you can do it. So one of them is, as you saw, I could just go in here and hit export. And we can export the, uh, the, the arrangement. Now that we've got an arrangement in here, we can name this whatever we want. We can just call it a, a, a GB. So it's our garage band arrangement. Hit OK. And now it's asking, would you like all of it? Three MIDI files or just two MIDI files or just the melody or just the accompaniment or a three MIDI track. What about three MIDI files? And now it's going to ask, where do you want to put them? I want to put them. Let's just put them in audio share for now. And it takes you, look at that. And it's made all those in here. <laughs> so there's one way you can send these out. And then I could just drag this file in to GarageBand or wherever. Also, as Audible tried to jump the gun before, you can do something neat like this. I can create another MIDI channel in here in AUM and open something like a... Uh, what do we do? Why, why is my brain gone uh, mushy? What's um the four pockets one? I'm going to use the four pockets one. I can't think of what it's called. Now, now's the time audible to write it to helium. There we go. So I didn't need you. We can add helium in here, and we can send right. So follow this. We can send helium uh, piano motifs out into helium. All right, and now in Helium, I can sync this up. So this is now sunk to the, the section. And now I can hit record in Helium. And when I hit play here, it's recording everything here now into Helium. while it's playing in AUM. All the changes, everything that we've made over here in Piano Motifs is being saved live as we're playing it. And then I can save this. Look at this, this, we've got a whole song happening. Beautiful stuff.
See you later, Jim. Try not to work too hard. Let it do its thing. It probably goes forever. <laughs> Let it play the whole lot. And of course, you can have as many instruments as you want. This is a beautiful app. This is a beautiful app. And you saw how easy it was to make something that sounds way beyond my technical skill on strings and a piano. <laughs> and it's still going, still recording everything in. So yeah, just to remind you, when you buy this for $3.99, the in-app purchases, $1.99 for the MIDI out, and another $3.99 for the AUV3. What's going on, Bear? Let's just stop this. So now that we've we've got this, look at all this MIDI, all this MIDI data we've got here. We can shrink it all down and see the whole piece. Look at all that. Wonderful. So easy to just throw into. You could, yeah, you could mix it with Scalar. So think about this. You open up something like Scalar or Progressions and you, and you find a chord progression and then you uh, jump in and, and add a motifs and then follow those chords, put together those chords in here in your motif, in your settings, build up the same chords in here and you've got a bunch of different melodies because you're a melody You've got a whole bunch of different melodies. User defined uh, uh, peggio, tonic arpeggios, voice led arps. Uh, I mean, there's a whole bunch of different things you could mix all together. Super, super clever. Anyway, back to Helium quickly. So then in Helium, we can open our media bay and we can save this. We can save our, our song here. We can export this MIDI, give it a name, you know. Call it uh, Poopy, of course. And there it is. There's our, our song. And now we can uh, we can open, we can play this. So it's just not me. It's not going to play. But we can uh, export this as well. into our. We can export this into our files app and then open it up in GarageBand. Super, super fun. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this. And again, you can take out, you could have three different pianos, say, and and have different melodies happening in, in one. And look, the, let's just clean out this now. Sure. And we'll open another MIDI, another piano, shall we? We'll do, do, do a genuine sounds. We'll do a pure piano and we'll wrap up in a few minutes because the Chandlers have a thing happening we'll do a pure piano maybe and a an pure upright yeah so we've got three different pianos here very different pianos some may argue that um, piano motifs let's generate something let's uh, do We'll leave it at random. Generate. What have we got? And then we'll send this piano motifs and we'll send this to uh, MIDI 1. We'll send this one to MIDI 2. And we'll send this one to MIDI 3. And remember to go into your settings, uh, to your MIDI section up here and make sure third track is turned on. And now we should. Mm -hmm. 
And we've got to remember, when things are playing, everything gets locked, so you can't change any th settings when things are playing. But I cover all that in the previous video. We can go in here and sh even change this to a drone. <laughs> Don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> Whatever. I uh, will generate... That's not. <laughs> there you go. So we really should add something that's more droney in there. <laughs> that would make more sense. So we're just getting a single note in there with this one. But yeah, if you've got a drone going, you, you get what I'm saying. And then over here we've got. So you can really mix this up, yeah? In the new update, the devil fix where you can change it while it's playing. Well, that's interesting. Because you, you can change some things. You can change anything that's a different color. You can change these. And when we hit stop, the locks come off. Uh, you, but like again, like I've... Uh, you, you, well, you can change the... Um, So you can change the accompaniment and the melody. You just can't change settings, things like that. Everything gets locked while it's playing. So that's easy to do. Changing the octave or how many loops. And again, what we did in the uh, previous uh, video, you talk about the locking. So you can turn on locks. So you could lock like the melody. And then when I do a generate, it'll keep that melody but change the accompaniment. So there's multiple ways to make great music with this. And as you saw there, while it was playing live, I could change the BPM, but through AUM because it's connected. All right, I'm out of here. I hope you've got a little bit of an understanding of how this works now with AUV3. It's, it's a very welcome addition because it's sick. It's uh, This is a fantastic app. If you don't have it and you know, you're know you looking for a generative app that makes some beautiful pieces and gives you the full flexibility to make virtually whatever you want. You know, this is this is really in depth. It, it's It's... It was way before its time, before progressions, before Scalar, and it still lives up to the hype. It's still a wonderful, wonderful app. So get in, grab it. But remember, apps aren't Pokemon. You don't need to collect them all. But if it works for you, by all means, get in, grab it. But make sure you use it. Make something with it. Make something with it, man. Yeah, do it. So up next, guys, we have the Chandler Brothers are having their premiere. It's happening right now, so it would have just kicked off. I think it's about to start. Um, so don't worry. If you've got autoplay turned on, I'll automatically dump you over there straight after this show ends, and you'll be sitting there ready to go. I think it's got a two-minute warning, so don't panic. There you go. I can hear it. Listen. I can hear it coming through all right bang diddly bang let's get out of here remember do the things that make you happy mistakes make you better and we all rise together and i'll see you tomorrow for the panel make sure you're here it's going to be a, a big one see you later